Hey guys, so today I've got something interesting. <laughs> Everything's always interesting, isn't it? <laughs> this one's called the Nextion or Nextion. I'm not quite sure how to say it. It's N-E-X-T-I-O-N. It's a display board and actually they, they call it an HMI, Human Machine Interface. And that's because it's a touchscreen display and it also has a processor on board. Now I've got the screen, which is the, I'm going to call it Nextion so someone can re sort of correct me if I'm wrong, but the Nextion display, and it's the 480 by 320 pixel resolution one, and it's a 3.5 inch screen. And it also came with this expansion board, which sort of a little bit of a joke, expansion board. Um, it's not, it sort of is, I guess. It's just got some buttons on for navigation, a little speaker, and uh, some broken out pins there. So I guess it's an expansion board, but really, it's the kind of thing that should have been put on the bottom of the board here. So um, this is the board itself. So if I just flip it over, you're able to see. So the front is the screen and the touch screen uh, layer. And then this is the back of the board. It does have the ability to keep time. I don't know if that's actually a chip on there that does keep the time. There's probably, I can't see which one of these chips is uh, a real time clock, but we've got a tiny little crystal there. So I'm assuming it's one of those. The light's not very good in here, so I can't really read the numbers very well, but um, we've got the, the broken out IO here, but um, it would have been nice if it was broken out on pins that you could attach things to rather than this uh, ribbon cable that means you need to get this little expansion board. However, saying that it's a touch screen. So really you don't need these things. And the way that you communicate with this board, apart from putting an SD card in there, is using uh, serial data, TTL stuff. So uh, you've got RX and TX coming off here as well as power and ground. Now the interesting thing about this little board is they've got an Arduino library for this display. So that means that you can run your projects and then communicate with this board via serial. So you don't need the heavy lifting to make the graphical options appear on here. It's all done on this board itself and it's pretty cool. They have a, a Windows and I believe a Mac uh, operating system. No, I don't mean that. I mean a bit of software. That means that you can set up your display in like a GUI fashion. So you can draw elements on there, import images, set up your display in the way that you want it. So if you wanted to have a full on UI, then you could do. Let's plug it in and um, you can see what it actually looks like. Um, in fact, let's plug it in. I'm going to plug it in with um, one of these sort of USB measurement things so you can see how much power it's going to draw. So I'm just using a power bank to do this rather than a USB adapter so I don't have to drag cables along. So if I just plug that in, there we go. So it's come up with, oh, it's the wrong way around, isn't it? Typical. Let's just move these boxes out of the way. We don't need to see those anymore. So. So this little board is a little bit hard to focus on, so I've had to change my camera a little bit. But essentially, you've got this touch screen layer on the surface, and it's doing all this graphical stuff at the bottom. Now, this background part here is an image, but you see these um, ARM 1.08 megahertz, 32 mega flash. These are the specs of the board, which I haven't told you. But uh, save data to EEPROM, 8 GPIO pins, onboard RTC. That's all information that's brought in dynamically over the top of that image. And you've got a section here that says slide to unlock and you can interact with the little demo that comes on the board. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm sliding that little bit there. So this is, I'm pretty impressed by this. So you, it starts up here, we've got RTC inside. The current time is incorrect due to lack of battery. I haven't put a battery in the back. I don't have one that's the correct size, but uh, it says the current password is 1111. So if I just type 1111, um, we can change to a new password. So let's just go for 2222. Two, two, two. Save. New password saved. And then it tells you you can download the HMI file. Now, isn't that interesting that this board, this costs around $30, I think? This screen is essentially, it's a processor and, uh, and memory and interface and uh, stuff 
to, uh, unto itself. So you don't need an external controller. You've got the IO on the board, but for 30 quid and you get a touch screen that actually works quite well, it seems. And you can design this in Windows or in, in Mac, whichever operating system you run is pretty good. Let's have a look at how much power it's drawing. So we've got 0.14 amps there. So 140 milliamps at five volts. And that's what you need to put into the board. So that's just with stuff on the display. I'm sure with sleep modes and stuff, you can make it a lot less, but that's pretty good. So I'm definitely gonna be playing around with this. It, um, it seems like an interesting little board. I'm not quite sure what kind of projects I'm gonna use. I think to start with, I'm just gonna hook it up to my uh, wireless sensor network and get the data displayed on here, maybe use it so I can flick through the uh, sensors to see the different uh, values that are coming out of my temperature nodes. Um, but as I said before, and I'll, but I'll go over it again, just so you have a clear idea about what it is. So it's a 3.5 inch uh, touchscreen display. Uh, it's 480 by 320 pixels resolution. Um, it can represent like 65K colors, you know, that kind of deal. It's got 16 meg of flash memory on here. This is the enhanced model. There are standard models that are a little bit cheaper and it's got uh, sort of 3.5 megabytes of RAM, or well, it's probably, it's more like three mega RAM, I suppose. It's probably less the amount that you're gonna have available with whatever it's running on board. Uh, and it's got an ARM chip on there, so like an ARM 748 megahertz chip. So it's gonna be pretty quick at writing to this display and reading the stuff you send to it via serial. Now, you can command it via serial, but you can only command what you program into the board. So let's say you, uh, you have a value here, it's called time, time.text or whatever, you would send it an update to the time.text uh, component. So th that's sort of how it works, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. I'll eventually get around to uh, putting it into a project and looking at the Arduino library, but I'm not doing that at the moment. But I just wanted to show you it. I think it's really cool. I'll put a link in the description and um, you can check it out yourself. I'd love to know what you hear, what you, you think about it and if you've heard anyone is using it at the moment, I've not really heard about these at all. So I think they're kind of cool.